Hey folks, Chris here with Headcount. Today we're going to look at the ABCs of fire extinguishers. This is always a confusing part for folks in our organizations. I mean, we want them to know how to use a fire extinguisher in case of emergencies, but we also want them to use the correct extinguisher for the situation. In the early 1900s, the Underwriters Laboratory coined the classifications for fire extinguishers. Why did they go with ABC? No idea. But the classification system is older than us, so I guess we'll live with it. A-class fires involve wood, paper, cloth, B-class flammable liquids, and C is anything electrical. I wish I could come up with some catchy song or a rhyme, but oh well. So your general ABC dry cam fire extinguisher takes care of all three classes, ordinary, liquid, and electrical. These are the most cost effective to purchase and to maintain, but they also are a mess. When you unload an ABC dry cam, in this situation, you get five pounds of dry chemical all over the place. Puts the fire out, great, saves the day. However, the cleanup is now on you. So, if you have a computer or a server room, you may opt for a CO2 extinguisher. These work for BC class fires, and cleanup is a breeze because CO2 is a gas. So make sure that you match the fire extinguisher to the class fire that it's going to be protecting. This can get really exciting in a fire drill where certain employees are going to be bringing a fire extinguisher to the drill. What happens when the wrong fire extinguisher, say a BC extinguisher, gets in the wrong area that has potentials for an A class fire? This is one of the great things about headcount. While doing your ITM rounds, when you find that an extinguisher is in the wrong place, simply scan the asset tag and on your map, it will show you exactly where this unit should be. As always, if you have any questions about headcount or about life safety, feel free to reach out to us. Until next time.